In dental school, we're taught that once you mix the mercury with the other components of the amalgam filling, it becomes inert. So today, we're going to try to put that theory to the test. I'm Alex Hummel with Mercury Instruments USA. We specialize in mercury-specific testing equipment. Today we brought a Mercury Instruments VM3000 mercury vapor analyzer, which is designed to measure elemental mercury in the atmosphere. It's a very sensitive instrument. It measures down to 0.1 micrograms per cubic meter. This is an amalgamator. This is the instrument that's going to mix the mercury with the other ingredients to form the amalgam filling. Keep in mind that we're taught in dental school that once they combine, the mercury becomes relatively inert at that point. So let's try this. Ten micrograms is generally considered inhabitable. That, that shouldn't be living there without some kind of respiratory protection and the cleanup goal to make sure everything is completely removed to the point where it can never pose a threat to anyone, even small children with health problems, is 0.3 micrograms. Okay, so to recap, a freshly made amalgam filling is off-gassing huge amounts of mercury vapor that exceed OSHA safety limits. And it makes total sense. Remember the amalgamator violently shaking the amalgam capsule back and forth? Well, that shaking was creating friction, thus creating heat, which is the last thing you want to do with elemental mercury. Why? Because the more you heat elemental mercury, the more mercury vapor it releases. It's simple science. This large exposure of mercury to the patient is one of the reasons why I decided to become a mercury safe dentist 23 years ago. Unfortunately, dental schools all across the country incorrectly teach students that the mercury is contained within the amalgam thus putting them and dental patients at risk. If you want more information about the hazards of mercury amalgam dental fillings to patients, dental staff, and the environment, then please go to the IOMT website for more information, www.iaomt.org.